So this year I earned over $2,000 entirely passively from cash that I just had sitting in the bank by using a promissory note. Here's exactly how I did and how you could do it too. Towards the end of last year, I stumbled into an opportunity that has been one of the most reliable passive income sources of 2020 for me. Now I was working with an early stage startup and they needed a little bit of cash, about $20,000 to float them to cash flow positive territory. They were looking at things like Stripe's cash advance feature, but once you went down the rabbit hole of learning about how the payback period works and how the interest rate works and things like that, they ended up looking at paying a 11 to 10, 11 to 12% interest on that. And I knew I had cash sitting in my investment storage account that I didn't have any use for right now. I didn't have a real estate investment coming up, so I could use this. So I started doing some research into promissory notes and learned that a promissory note is actually very simple to put together, especially with, a, uh, with someone that you trust to actually pay you back. So I ended up structuring a promissory note for about 10% annual interest for me and earning me about $2,200 over the year. So this is a good time for that disclaimer where I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube teaching you what I learned and how I'm investing my money. So do with this as you will. Promissory notes are actually very simple to put together, especially when you do a non-collateralized or non-secured promissory note like I did. So a couple of things you should know before you offer your cash in terms of a promissory note is one, you should know that you don't need that cash any time soon because it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to get the lendee to pay that cash back early unless you work something in the contract where they're obligated to do that which I did not and I haven't needed the cash since the other thing you should know is that you, sh you can trust them to pay you back so I did an unsecured promissory note which is more risky because there is no collateral behind the scenes now if you're working with someone that it's a little higher risk of an investment this was not the case for me, you may want to look into doing a collateralized or a secured promissory note, which there's plenty of templates online to figure this out. I would definitely recommend talking with a lawyer to put this together properly. And it's kind of out of the scope of this video. So the first thing you need to do to put one of these loans together is to come up with terms. So we put together a 12 month term with a 10% interest amortized over the time period. You can also do interest only payments, which is a lot simpler of a payment structure with a balloon payment at the end but that does require the lendee to have a little bit more knowledge in terms of uh, making sure they have the cash to pay at the end. Next, you need to put the contract together. I will link down in the description a template contract that I used. I Pretty sure I just found this on Google somewhere. Uh, you can also reach out to an attorney. They typically have templates or they can handcraft one for you for the low, low price of whatever their hourly rate is. These are not complex things, especially in the unsecured promissory note space. So the template I have down below should serve you well, but again, I am not an attorney or a financial advisor, so please consult one before you use this. Put the payment schedule together. Uh, if you're doing an amortized payment, that is a lot more complicated to put together. And I also have a link in the description for a spreadsheet that will help you put those payment terms together. It's the exact spreadsheet that I use to put our payment terms together. And I hope it helps you because amortization schedules are really complex to put together. <laughs> put that all together in a single document, get it signed by both parties and you are done. Now you just sit back and collect that interest every single month as well as your principal if it's an amortized payment. So every single month I get $2,200 payment in my bank account. Part of that is principal, part of that is interest. At this point, I'm nearing the end of the term of the loan. So most of it is, uh, is principal at this point. So that is how I have earned $2,200 this month, this month, not this month, this year on passive income with cash that was literally just sitting in my bank account. It is incredibly easy to do and I highly recommend it if you have some cash sitting around, you have nothing to use it for and you know someone that needs some money. I hope this was helpful. If it was, share it with someone that might like it and hit that like button, subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace.